In the last video, I was talking about still needing to quilt this small area here with the feather patterns. This side and this side. I have four patterns on each side to finish. Now these tail feathers are already quilted and I just moved the pattern out of the way. And I said that these were getting much smaller. You can see how short they are. And what I did was I drew a boundary and I converted the boundary to a pattern and I rubber stamped it and moved out a copy down here to give me something to adjust the patterns to fit in this area. Then I converted this back to a boundary. And this pattern has already been has been adjusted to fit that area. So I'm going to move it in there, select it, move it in, rotate it. Uh-oh, I got to undo this. And the reason I need to is because I divided it. I didn't combine it back. I hit control Z to undo my moving that pattern. Now I'm going to select it and combine it. I combined the pattern back into one entity. So now I when I selected it and moved it, it's all just one pattern. Now I rotate this. I'm going to move it into this area and do some adjustments to get it to work. Okay, I finished stitching out this first wedge and now I'm going to put a pattern in the next one. I have this pattern adjusted pretty well but you can see right here it goes way out into that area and I don't want it to quilt out there. So I'm just going to use Alt-T and do a trim. I used Alt-T and I just chopped off all of this part of this pattern that was sticking way out where I did not want it to stitch. Since I had that pattern adjusted to fit fairly well and this next one is pretty close to the same size and everything, I've selected this pattern in here and I used the rubber stamp icon over on the right side and here's something notice when I rubber stamped it it rubber stamped the entire pattern not just the part that was trimmed so I'm going to adjust this and use trim to remove everything I don't want to quilt okay again I've used alt T and I have clicked around and and did a trim on all of this area that I do not want to stitch. Okay, I'm all finished with the patterns on this side. Now I'm going to work on the four patterns over on the right side. And I think what I'm going to do is just select this pattern, rubber stamp it, flip it so that it fits over here and just reuse it. Okay, what I did was I selected this pattern, I rubber stamped it, I moved it over and I rotated it so that it was horizontal. Now I'm just going to use this icon and I'm going to flip that pattern horizontally. I had to select it, I didn't have it selected so it wouldn't flip. Now I have it selected, I flipped it horizontally and I'm just going to rotate it and you see it's already shaped to fit right in this area and then I'll just keep rubber stamping this pattern and using the uh, trim alt T and making it fit in these other three areas since it's sized pretty much already when the pattern is slanted like this is one thing that does help somewhat in doing the adjustments is use these boxes instead of the arrows. See I can use this square and I can move this side here around and make it fit pretty much how I want to. Use this box up here and I can move this part, 
move it out closer to that edge and it looks like I may need to rotate it just a little bit okay that right there moved it where I want it a better it, patterns are really difficult to adjust when they're on a slant like this so I'm going to work on that a little bit more and rotate the pattern again now let's see what happens yeah I can live with that okay I have some area over down on this end I'm going to have to use alt T and trim that away I'll just press the alt button the T then I can do I can just start right there click a point click a point a point a point hit stop or hit the right mouse button and now that area is all gone and it will stop stitching right at the edge of that boundary okay here's something to be on the lookout for when you do a trim you see there's a there's a little tiny segment of this that it wants to go stitch well I really don't want it to go stitch there so I'm gonna to try to do another trim and see if I can get it to not want to go there okay this little trim that I did it worked I trimmed out that little section that wanted to go to stitch then I had to do a restart and this little cross hair right there this little cross is where I did a restart I said restart pick a new point use this point and then it see this is stitched down and then back so it started stitching back around the end and back to here and tied off so that worked feathers have been sewn all the way around the left side the right side all of it I moved the tail feathers back in place now my next uh, is going to go I'm going to go and finish the cross hatching this area down here that I have not finished 